All right, so this video is gonna start part three of my winch install on the Polaris Ranger. Um, I spoke to Super ATV on Saturday. They did not end up getting back to me on Saturday. Um, so I called them first thing Monday morning, talked to the same guy that uh, I talked to on Saturday. He apologized for not getting back to me on Saturday. He said they were busy. Which is fine. Um, I couldn't have got this part any sooner had he done something on Saturday. But uh, they did send me another winch mount. It is the same winch mount um, in the hopes that the original one was bent wrong. So, um, I'm going to open this up and try to install it, and hopefully it is just the winch mount that's the problem. He said um, that if this one doesn't fit, that he's going to have to get with their engineering department to get this corrected. So. We will see if this one fits versus that one. Looks just about the same. The measuring tape out here. Five and five eighths. They look to be the same exact size, but I am going to install it just to make sure that uh, that it doesn't fit. So let me take the bumper off and I'll be back with you. Okay, so. Um, I installed the winch mount, the new one they sent, and still hitting the radiator. And on the other side, it's real close to the radiator, but it, uh, the bolt holes are still not lined up, and it's actually pushing on the radiator. Still, same situation. So, um, sent Super ATV another video of just how it is right now, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I believe that uh, I am going to send back both of these winch mounts. And I am going to order a KFI winch mount because uh, it really looks like it'll just bolt right up. <clears throat> um, it bolts right here with three bolts on each side. And that is it. Easy money done. So um, I think I'm going to do that. And it's $10 cheaper. So um, I could... I could go ahead and cut this back about um, a half an inch the whole way across and taper it down and it would fit. Um, if, I, if I cut it back to where these holes are, it would have plenty of room. But I spent $64 on this and it came with the wrong hardware. Even the new one came with the wrong hardware that doesn't fit any of this. So. Hopefully, send these back. Um, I will get the KFI winch mount, mount it, and be done. Um, Super ATV, though, I give them credit. Even though um, I had to call them back on Monday after trying to talk to them on Saturday. I called them back Monday morning, and it is Tuesday at 2 o'clock, and I had another winch mount here um, in one day. So as far as their shipping, it is lightning fast. Um, their um, their help desk pretty good. Um, the guy that I spoke with, he did help. He, he you know he got this out right away, and he said he was gonna you know get with the engineering department or whatever if this doesn't uh, fit and it doesn't fit. So I hope for other people's sakes that um, this gets straightened out because I think. Um, Polaris Ranger is here to stay for what mine is, but 
um, you know, this brand model is here to stay for a long time. So if they have this with every every Ranger, they're going to have uh, a big problem. So um, this will be the start of part three. Whenever I get the other winch mount, we will put that on together and we'll see how it does. So until then, thanks for watching. Okay, this is the game plan to make this uh, fit the Ranger. The only reason this doesn't fit right now is because of the um, space issue between the radiator where it was hitting the radiator right there. So um, I'm going to take three quarters of an inch off, which it may be overkill, but the winch mounts up to these holes and not this one. So uh, I don't need I don't need any of this here. I mean, for extra strength, but really, most of the pull on the uh, most of the pull on the winch is going to be against this front plate here, not uh, really from the back. This will just be to basically, um, you know, keep it steady and everything. So um, we're going to take this down three quarters of an inch, and then I'm going to try it out tomorrow, and we'll see where to go. Um, the reason we're taking this down is because uh, I contacted Super ATV, told him the second winch mount didn't work, and uh, I said, you know, where do I send these back? Um, where do I send these back to? I'd just like to get a refund. Um, and they said, go ahead and keep it. Keep keep both of them. I said, don't, don't send them back. Uh, I said, we'll refund you your money, and you can go ahead and try to modify one to work. So it's exactly what we're going to do. I thought it was really uh, fantastic customer service of them. And I'm going to send them a video of what we're doing here. So hopefully they can get this straightened out for the next guy or whatever so um just them saying we you know go ahead and cut it up and see if you can make it work i thought was really uh good customer service you know at least giving me the option to try to make it work on their dime basically so um <clears throat> we'll see how this goes my uh, co-worker gunning went ahead and cut this out for me put some paint on it made it look pretty pretty professional right here but you can see how much he took off um, we took off three quarters of an inch just because uh, I didn't need these two holes here since the super wind or the uh, super ATV winch mounts right to these holes so we just took that all off there's still plenty of meat here um, I honestly think that it probably could have been less than that um, I don't know, we probably could have taken it right, right to about that hole, uh, or less, but seeing as how I knew where the winch mounted and everything, um, I asked them to just take it in the middle of these holes. It looks real nice, and, uh, I'll try it on tomorrow morning, I'll let you know the result. Okay, here we go, it's all installed. Um, I just hooked up the battery and the terminals on the winch. See right there, positive and negative. The winch mount was a challenge to put on, uh, to say the least. Um, those bolt, that bolt right there, um, was extremely hard to get in. I had to manipulate some stuff to get it to go in, but eventually it did go in. And uh, on this side, you can see right here, this is still touching the radiator, so. I am going to lop this corner off as um, soon as I get a uh, grinder to do that, which will be next week. It'll be before I drive it or anything, but um, taking that three quarters of an inch out worked. It gave the uh, radiator some space other than that, uh, that little bit right in the front. This is all hooked up. I tightened it all down. Uh, um, zip tied the wires there and hooked up the battery leads this works and this came with a wireless remote
It does have like a two second delay on it, so when you let go, I'll show you. It still pulls in for another second or so. But I know that, so now I can get used to that. So it's all hooked up, it works. Um, as far as the winch mount goes, I I don't like the winch mount at all. KFI makes a really nice one. But what I do have to say about Super ATV, the winch works fine. Um, I had a conversation with them. They said they took that winch mount off of their website. Uh, and they are going to, they have their engineering department um, working on it to get, to make one that fits like correctly for this model. I don't know if the full size Ranger is any different than the mid size as far as the front bumper and grill, but Super ATV did make it right. They went out of their way. Um, they sent me a second one and you know, they said, just go ahead and do what you can with it if you want to. So I have a winch mount that works. It's not perfect. But it does work. Um, I'm happy with it at this point. Um, but it is September 2016 right now. So if you go to buy a winch and a winch mount from Super ATV and they have a winch mount on their website, I'm guessing it's a re engineered winch mount because they said they took it off their website. So right now you can't buy this winch mount. I'm guessing they won't put it back on until they have it right. So, uh, but they said, you know, their website says 100% satisfaction guaranteed, and they did hold true to that. Um, their tech services department was very good. They helped me out, and uh, I mean, they were on it. So, I, w I definitely will buy from Super ATV again. That's not a question, uh, because they back their stuff. They back their products, and if it's not right, then they make it right. So, um, Yeah. Whole winch installed uh, without all the problems. I'm thinking this would have taken me two hours, hour and a half. But since I had a lot of problems, it took quite a bit longer. But right now it is Wednesday morning. I started the install of this winch on Saturday. Ran into the issues on Saturday, Friday night, really. But it was past the, the close of business. So Friday night, it's Wednesday. It's on, everything's fixed, it's right, it works, all said and done. Um, and that's with them sending me a whole nother winch mount. I mean, start to finish, I ordered this winch mount last Wednesday at midnight, or at like 12.30. It was here Friday, Friday I started messing with it. So, elapsed time over start to finish of this whole thing is less than a week. Um, from ordering it to having it installed and done. Uh, and a lot of it's because of their, their, they ship fast. If you need something in two days, I almost guarantee it'll be there. I mean, I told them Monday that that winch mount didn't, didn't work. And Tuesday, I had it at my door. Um, I'm in Ohio. They are in uh, Indiana, which, you know, I'm in um, eastern Ohio. So I'm... I'm on, I'm on the border of PA, so it's still, you know, state, state and a half away, basically, um, but they had it, I mean, lightning fast, so I give them that, um, like I said, I will order from them again, even with the problems, it happens, this is, you know, I don't think this uh, 2016 full size with the round bars, the non-XP edition, is a very popular um, Ranger, because everybody wants to profile bars to put all the accessories on it. I'm going to do my own accessories. I just put this uh, rear view mirror on yesterday. Uh, but I'm happy with it. So know that you, you know, you may have an issue. Even if you get a different winch mount, I don't know. But if they have one back on their website, it is probably re-engineered better. I'm sure it will fit. If it won't, they'll make it right. Thanks for watching. Um, 
Next thing I'm going to do to this is probably a heater. So stay tuned for that. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate it.